It's coffee time with John. You know when you wake up in the morning and you turn on the news, they tell you all of the stories of the day in five minutes. They tell you all of the stories of the day in five minutes. And then they expand on those five minutes for the next 24 hours. So if you feel the need to watch the news, turn it off after five minutes. But understand this. When you watch the news, <laughs> negative things and fear-based outcomes get better press than good stuff. And the reason this is is not because it is more important. It's because there's too much of the good stuff. If they, if they had to show all the good stuff all the time, then they wouldn't be able to tell you the stories of the day in five minutes. Because good things happen every day, everywhere. The world is predominantly positive. But if you watch the news all the time, you are going to become negative. Because you're only going to see the negative. When you focus on what the politicians are doing or saying, and, and you know, getting, getting angry about it or, 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 or um, reactive about it, you, it's not really helping you. If you disagree, vote for the other guy. It's not, it's not, it's not a, it's not a, I have to believe what they say thing. It's a, no, I don't, I go vote for the other guy, right? You know, we're in a very political season right now. These, these midterm elections and hear all that squawking. That's what the politicians sound like, squawking at each other, yelling at each other. Yeah! Thanks. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> um, I love those moments. <laughs> um, but uh, that's what they all sound like right now, right? When it comes to politics, I'm a one-issue voter. My son is up there asleep. He's home for the weekend. And... That's my issue. I want him to inherit a loving world. One of equality, one of op opportunity, one where he gets to be himself no matter what he believes, when, you know, or who he loves. That's my, that's my one issue, my son. And so if I want him to have a loving, joyful world, that I need to vote for the people who I think are creating that. And so that is how I vote. But when I hear the vitriol coming from the people I'm not going to vote for, and the name calling, it always brings up the, the, um, the Socrates quote. When the debate is lost, slander becomes the tool of the loser. Losers call names. Losers attack, or losers scream and yell and holler. But losers can win if we keep giving them attention and focus and, and, and keep thinking about what they're going to say next or how they're going to react to this. You know, we need to start focusing on the loving world and doing the things that's best for all of us not best for, for just a few. And so, I don't like talking politics on my channel. I think there's enough of that vitriol out there. Um, I, I mean, right now, if you, if you just search psychics on, on YouTube, there's, there are no straight psychics on YouTube that aren't doing poli politics right now and haven't been for the past four years. None of them are just talking. None of them are just talking about spirituality. 
none of them are just opening up about positive things. They're all focused on the negative things. And I think it's sad because when when someone comes to a gifted psychic, they're coming to find out what they should believe. And when I when I see a psychic tapping into the fears that they have and going down those roads. Now, one of the things I, you know, like of all the po- of all the political readers online, you know, my friend Kim Carey, I, f- I find her fascinating because she's she's so positive about things, and she gets you know once she gets something that looks like it's going in the opposite direction, she'll say it, but she she sees a, a a a greater outlook, she sees a bit greater outcome, and. And that, to me, is one of the things. I see a lot of people who, who argue and scream and holler and yell and talk about the politics and focus on this and focus on that. It's just like the news. Turn, turn it off after five minutes, right? Mainly because of the fact that if you're focusing there, you're not being loving. You're not focusing on love. You're focusing on fearful things. And a lot of people will, will define them by knowing what's going on. I often get videos, <laughs> or, or not videos, um, I often have guys on motorcycles go by too, uh, um, but I often, I often get emails or, or comments from people who, who are disappointed in me for not believing as they do, and how wrong or misunderstanding I am. I'm misunderstanding, you're getting this all wrong, and I'm like, no I'm not. I'm not getting it wrong. I'm just not believing what you believe. And when you look into the arguments they're making, they have all these lists of arguments they want to make about something. They have no proof of any of it. And what's what's so interesting about that to me is that all they're doing is reciting what they've seen in the 24 hours of news that they've watched on the channels that, that promote things that keep you in fear. Let go. In reality, none of you know what actually is going on with any of the stuff out there. But if you say, if you put yourself into a loving place and you set yourself down and say, I am living a loving life, your life becomes loving. Your life becomes bright. Your life becomes surrounded by amazing things. Right? If you see in, in, in what you would consider an injustice against love... Do what you can to counteract it, but don't ruminate on it. Don't focus on it. Don't don't wander around yelling and screaming and hollering to people about it. That's just that's just you wanting to be in the know about it. That's you, you having the power to tell this, you know, the passing the fearful story on. You know, do what you can, but stay loving in your life. Keep your life going in a positive way. Keep your life going and shining so bright (coughs) because the whole thing about spewing garbage is people will take it but until they see an example of something different and they go, oh, uh, this garbage, I don't want, I'm so sick of this garbage. Let's, I'm I'm gonna do what they're doing, right? How many of you get so sick of the news? I mean, you're so, so sick of hearing people just complain about stuff. Right? How about just being the example for people to go, Oh, <coughs> I don't need to have that, that garbage in my head. I don't need me complaining or, and, and, and arguing all the time. I don't need to do those things. I can be love. I can express love. I can be the one shining bright star in my part of the world, part of the sky. And I can show others how to, how to be by example you can't change people by telling them to change you change people by being the example for them to go oh I want what they've got I want to be who they are I want to have that feeling they have look at that look on their face oh my god they're so happy you do that 
And then, and no matter where they are, no matter who they are, no matter wh- how deep into anxiety and fear they are, they will, they will lash out, they will do all kinds of things, but eventually they'll come around. Because trust is developed by results over time. And if they see you continually having a positive life, eventually they're going to question theirs. Because nobody wants to live in negativity. Nobody wants to live in fear and anxiety. Nobody wants that. They see a way out, they will take it. But you can't keep, you can't keep taking in the junk and expecting to leave, leave anxiety. You can't keep watching 24 hours of news and expect to not have it affect your psyche. Turn off the news. Turn on some cool music. Dance. Walk around your neighborhood. You know, play with your son. You know, you know, go work on your car if you like working on cars. Go, you know, plant some flowers or some some bulbs in your on your property. Go 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 out and do something that you enjoy, something you love, something you you like to see the results of. That's how we change the world. We don't change the world by forcing others to change to our will. We force other, we, we force others by not forcing them. We literally stop and go, okay, I'm just being me. You know, I had sitting here in the backyard, there used to be a tree right here, and it was dead. And I, I put it up on Facebook Marketplace, free firewood, you cut it down. <laughs> right? And, a, and a, a woman and her son showed up. And they were, they were, they were nice, very nice people. And I t- talking with them, joking with them, they chopped it down and got into conversations with them. And then one day she said something about <laughs> setting the political opponent's election sign on fire on her neighbor's yard. And I was like, <laughs> my, my response to her was this. I said, that sounds a bit extreme, but you and I are not going to talk politics because I like you and I want to keep liking you. And she said, okay. And we never discussed it again. And eventually she brought me cookies and she, and she asked me to talk to her son about giving him direction in life. Would she have done that if, if we'd have kept arguing? Would she have had that, would have had that opportunity to talk to her son and put him on a path towards his goals, towards his dreams? Would those things have happened if I would have stayed fighting and butting heads against their politics? No. People can believe whatever they want to believe. What only matters to you and your life is what you believe and how you create from your belief. And you get to choose your beliefs. You can choose to be negative and, and walk around with a furrowed brow or you can choose to be joyful and loving and caring and watch people around you change naturally because love is our natural state. It is where we all fall back to when we exhale. It's right there. At the bottom of every exhale is the opportunity to experience love and your authentic self. So take the time today to breathe, let go, turn off the news, and go do things you love with people you love. And if you don't have people you love right now, go express to the world that you are love and you be loving. What happens is the experience will surround you in love because your world will show you your, your, your belief. Believe the world is a loving place. Because it, because it really is. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.